All right, so in this section of the training, what we're going to do is copy um, the control, the conveyor control AOI that we did, and use the emulated version. Uh, so the emulated version IO that we've we've been doing, we're going to continue on with that, and we're actually going to show that in a function block this time. So not ladder logic, but use that same exact AOI that we made the add-on instruction. We're going to use that inside a function block. So uh, a lot of you may know, may not know. Either way, we need to cover this to make sure we pass on the information for those that need it. Um, last on the last video, if you didn't, you know, catch it, we made the AOI, and we, you know, in the video before that, we did the simulation for the IO. So uh, I'll link those below if you need them. Um, otherwise, let's go ahead and get the show on the road. Okay, so first we want to add the new routine. So we're going to call this. Uh, uh, let's see, add on instruction. And um, bad about typing before. Um, so, and we'll call this add on instruction sample. So, now that we've added our add on um, routine, or our new routine, I should say, we're going to add a, a new rung to the main routine. We're going to go ahead and add our JSR. I'm just going to type it above basically linking the newly created routine to the program so that it is scannable now right so now we have a scannable program we're going to open this up and the reason i'm doing this offline is because i want to actually go into the properties of this sheet and the default um, in most cases is going to be the unless you change it in the back plane but um the most cases is going to pop in the uh, eight and a half by eleven I'm going to change that to 11 by 17 to give me more room. As you see, it, it gave me more room over here. Okay, so next what we want to do is actually go into our add-ons up here. Um, add-on instruction group, and then we're going to add the conveyor. We're just going to drag it down. Now, and this is very, very simple. Um, you know, you have different stuff you can show if you wanted to. Um, in this instance, I'm not. I'm choosing not to show that. And, and as simple as we made this add-on instruction, there's not much to really show anyway. You're going to have a start push button, a stop push button, and a conveyor running. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to it. We'll go ahead and drag the first pin down. We'll put it to, actually, let's, uh, before we uh, put the pin to anything, let's go ahead and put a JS, our, um, a one-shot rising in there. And we'll take the one-shot rising and pin it to the start. And then we'll pin the um, input right here, the input operam or input reference. When they have that, uh, pin that to the JSR, or not the JSR, but the um, uh, one shot rising. So uh, what I'm going to do is do the same start. I'm going to use that same start button because I'm going to have that start this conveyor as well. So I'm just going to come over here, copy and paste that start button in here, um, and just to show you that still is the same start button. Um, I'll go ahead and, you know, simulate it and, you know, as far as that goes. Oh, okay, we're, we're offline, so you can't see it. I forgot about that. Uh, but I'll show you here in a little bit, so that's no, no need. Um, so let's, let's keep going. Um, let's add the J, um, the next, the stop button, and let's add the one-shot rising for that. We can do a one-shot falling, too, if we chose to. Um, I just it really depends on what you want to do one shot rising of course is as soon as it transitions from a one to a zero or a zero to a one the falling is the zero or from a one to a zero so that's about basically the, the only difference okay so now we're going to get our stop button bring our stop button over here and add it into the system so now we have our start and stop and then for this one for the uh, conveyor run I'm going to actually make a different tag. I'm going to come in here and instead of having it run the same conveyor, that conveyor start right here, I don't want to have that. I want to say let's run, um, this is going to be conveyor, let's just say conveyor four or three, uh, run command. That throws that in there. We're going to do a, uh, it's not a base tag, we're going to do an alias tag. We're going to alias this to um, our simulated IO. So we're going to basically come down to our card seven. 
we're going to pick the next one. Um, we'll probably just, let's just say six. Let's put six in there. So we've aliased it to six, and then now we have it. Okay, so um, with that said, we can basically, you know, assemble that and <clears throat> run it. Um, we have to download, though. So let, first and foremost, we want to uh, make sure we, you know, go ahead and do that. So we want to make sure that we can go ahead and download to the processor. And yes, we want to go ahead and accept everything as it is and keep going. So as this is doing this, um, we're going to go ahead and run it and show, uh, you know, exactly what it does. And so there, there we go. Um, we have it in there now. Um, so therefore, if the start button is pressed, it will start uh, the conveyor three run command. We'll start two and a half seconds after that. Cause, and the reason we know that is if we come up here to the instruction uh, and go to open instruction logic, you can see it's two and a half seconds. And in this instance, we can change it if we wanted to. So the default, if you recall, the default that we have is two and a half seconds. You can't change it in this one, but if you say you wanted to have a different startup period uh, or startup time, you can change it right here. So let's just say four seconds. We'll have four seconds on this one. So now if I come in here to my simulated IO, I hit the start. It one shots four seconds. It should start the, and it did. So, and you, you've seen that down here. You see the IO come on. So we'll hit the stop and watch this. So the start comes on. This one should come on. Then this one should come on because we actually have one coming on at two and a half seconds. And the other one is instructed to come on in four seconds. So we'll hit the stop. Um, and again, you can look at the, Let's go to the open logic and I'll show you that simulated in here too. So I hit the start button. It starts again. It's a one shot four seconds later cuts on it cuts on. Okay. So now I can come in here and hit the stop and it stops hit the start again and it starts up. Now I can change that timer again in this one instance. If I wanted to, I can, I can have several of these if I wanted um, and just name them different things. You know, like I can have, uh, we'll stop this real quick, real, real quick. Um, I can put multiple ones in here. I can have like conveyor one, two, three, four. Like uh, if we wanted to, we can have, you know, two more conveyors in here and have them just running and we could just change the timers and they would cascade on. You know, they would have a different starting time period and that would work perfectly. But um, in this instance, I wanted to show you that, that you can use the add-on instruction that we made right here. Um, and that we use in our ladder logic in the video prior to this. Um, you can use that also not only in ladder logic, but you can use it in function block as well. So when you make add-on instructions, they're very versatile and they're very helpful. And again, um, if you would give me your feedback, you know, I really want to hear what, what I can do to help you in, you know, learning and growing and getting better. So, and also, you know, kind of helping others too, because, what we may feel like we we might know we may know uh, you know it might help somebody else so a lot of times we get kind of complacent with stuff that we know but it, if we can help people grow and that's the sole reason i do this this channel is it, so I, if i can you know I, if you would don't mind spreading and sharing this as, as much as you can so that we can grow and get better because the more people that add topics to this the better this channel can get and the more information we can all spread so again, uh, I would love to hear your feedback, so please leave it below. And if you haven't watched the other videos and you feel like you want to check them out, they'll be linked below. Okay. Well, again, thank you for your support and thank you for your time.